let me take this time to greet the church of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me honor our zone leader and my father. I have to tell that together with Mama in the name of Jesus. And I also want to recognize all the pastors represented in this place and greet you in the name of Jesus. And I want to thank the NMI together with the pastors and the zone leader for allowing me to come and share the word of God with you this morning. Amen. Amen. And I want to say I am not here to preach to you. I am not here to preach to you. This is Zulubati and Zawun Shumayeza. Shumayeza. And Zawun Shumayeza. I came here so that I can also learn from what the heavens are saying this morning. I am just an empty vessel that I said, Lord, use me. And I am here because I am just a vessel. I don't have anything special about me. I just availed myself, I availed myself for God to use me. And uh, let me say, I'll try to speak in English. If my English ran away, I'll speak in Zulu a little bit. If my Zulu ran away, I'll speak in Spade. If my Spade, I see that you are not hearing me, I'll speak in Shangana. Is that all right? I want you to tell your neighbor when they ask what you got now, which is in the way today. Hallelujah. Jesus has an appointment with you today. Amen. Bazamani, you know, I feel honored to come and speak here at Mosoweto at the zone because. When I came from Limpopo to study this site, I was staying in Orlando East, Orlando East at, at Church of the Nazarene there. I was sleeping in the mission house. When you were coming for your There was a little place in the kitchen. They had, they had ama bottle and stuff like that. My bed was inside that room. Because my pastor said, we don't know how to, we don't know so well to, but because you are going to how to, be safe in the house of the Lord. And I came to so well to, Mashallah, Ecoland, East. And if I still remember correctly. And one Sunday, I had my sisters of mine, they called me to say, there's another church, you must come and visit us at Mulezani. You must just come and visit us, it's, it's also nice. And I went to Mulezani church, but that night, just to give a short uh, testimony, that night before I went to Mulezani, the Lord spoke heavily on my spirit that I have called you. I had a, a, a harsh dream where I saw a house that was full of dishes and there were levels and shelves of different dishes in that house. Thank you. 
And how did you get to the house? I said, rice. Rice, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it.
disciples. He kept them together. Even on the last day, on the table, they asked, who, oh, Master, who is going to do that? And he did not do that. Like, let us reflect. Let us look upon the cross of God. And just reflect on Jesus that we are supposed to be like him.
There was a moment wondering I was sure of it. But for today's lesson, in, in me trying to help us to think about the cross, I want us to look at the witnesses, the witness of the centurion man. I just want these few moments to focus on the witness of the centurion man. When Jesus was at the cross, when he witnessed, I believe that maybe this, this centurion man, this was not the first death that he yes, he did what? He witnessed because he was part of the people that had to do the crucifixion. Am I right or not? Are you working with me? This was not the first step. But then I, but I want us to look at his response as one of the witnesses that was looking very close at what was happening to Jesus. When Pilate when Pilato gave him over to be crucified, this soldier was among the other ones who came and took Jesus to be crucified. And I think he was watching, he was watching everything that Jesus was doing. For him to be whipped several times, he was watching his response. God, Jesus, not responding, quiet and being humble. The witness of this uh, centurion man. 